What kind of row are you trying to cause in my house anyhow? He isn't causing a row. You're causing a row. Please, have a little self-control. Self-control? I suppose the latest thing is to sit back and let Mr. Nobody from nowhere make love to your wife. Well, if that's the idea, you can count me out. Nowadays, people begin by sneering and uh, family life and family institutions, and they'll throw everything overboard and have intermarriage between black and white. I know I'm not very popular. I don't give big parties. I suppose you've got to make your house a pigsty in order to have friends in the modern world. I've got something to tell you, old sport. Please, don't. Please, let's all go home. Why don't we all go home? Come on, Tom. Nobody wants to drink. I want to know what Mr. Gatsy has to say. Your wife doesn't love you. She's never loved you. She loves me. You must be crazy! She never loved you. Do you hear? She only married you because I was poor and she was tired of waiting for me. It was a terrible mistake. But in her heart, she never loved anyone except me. I told you what's been going on, going on for five years, and you didn't know. You've been seeing this fellow for five years? Not seeing. No, we couldn't meet. But both of us loved each other all that time, old sport. And you didn't know. I used to laugh sometimes to think you didn't know. Oh, that's all. You're crazy! I can't speak about what happened five years ago because I didn't know Daisy then. And I'll be damned if I see you got within a mile of her unless you brought groceries to our back door. But all the rest of that's a goddamn lie. Daisy loved me when she married me and she loves me now. No. She does though. The trouble is that sometimes she gets foolish ideas in her head and she doesn't know what she's doing. And what's more, I love Daisy too. Once in a while I go off on a spree and make a fool of myself. But I always come back, and in my heart, I love her all the time. You're revolting. Do you know why we left Chicago? I'm surprised they didn't treat you to that story of that little spree. Daisy, it's all over now. It doesn't matter anymore. Just tell them the truth. They never loved me, and it's all wiped out forever. What? How could I ever love him? Possibly. You never loved him. I never loved him. Not a Capoliani? No. Not that day I carried you down from the punch bowl to keep your shoes dry? Daisy? Please, don't. There, Jay. Oh, you want too much! I love you now. Isn't that enough? I can't help what's past. <laughs> I did love him once, but I loved you too. You loved me too? Even that's a lie! She didn't know you were alive. Why? There are things between Daisy and me that you'll never know. Things that neither of us can ever forget. I want to speak to Daisy alone. She's all excited now. Even alone, I can't say I never loved Tom. It wouldn't be true. Of course it would. As if it matters to you. Of course it matters. I'm going to take better care of you now. You don't understand. You're not going to take care of her anymore. I'm not? <laughs> Why's that? Daisy's leaving you. Nonsense. I am, though. She's not leaving me. <laughs> Certainly not for a common swindler who'd have to steal the ring he put on her finger. I won't stand this. Oh, please, let's get out. Who are you, anyhow? You're one of the bunch that hangs around with Mayor Wolfsheim. That much I happen to know. I've made a little investigation into your affairs, and I'll carry it further tomorrow. You can suit that about yourself, old sport. I found out what your drug stores were. He and Miss Wolfsheim brought up a lot of side street drug stores here in Chicago and sold grain alcohol over the counter. That's one of his little stunts. I picked him up for a bootlegger for the first time I saw him and it wasn't far wrong. What about it? I guess your friend Walter Chase wasn't to come in on it. And you left him on the, in the lurch, didn't you? You let him go to jail for a month in New Jersey. God! You ought to hear Walter on the subject of you. He came to us dead broke. He was very glad to pick up some money, old sport. Don't you call me old sport! Walter could have you up on some betting laws too, but Wolfsheim scared him, shutting his mouth. <clears throat> that drugstore business was just a small change. But you've got something on now that Walter's afraid of to tell me about. Please, Tom, I can't 
stand this anymore. Two star on home in Mr. Gatsby's car. Go on. He won't annoy you. I think he realizes that a little presumptuous little flirtation is over. Want any of this stuff? Jordan? Nick? Nick? What? Want any? No, I just remembered that today's my birthday. Let Mr. Nobody from nowhere make love to your wife. <laughs> okay. I suppose the latest thing to sit back and let. What? How do I say that word? <laughs> Capioliani. <laughs> Not that. Cause who are you anyhow? You're one of the bunch. You think I'm a fourth grade reader? <laughs> <laughs> Marion's just sitting there. <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> okay.